Should you add the Dolce Gusto Circolo single serve coffee machine to your own at home coffee shop? Let's find out today here on aromacup.com. Hi everyone, I'm Brian with aromacup.com. Thanks as always for joining me here in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. Now, uh, today I'm going to be talking about what I think is probably the most, most futuristic single serve coffee machine I've ever encountered. It's the Dolce Gusto Circolo, or is it Circolo? We don't really know, I think it's Circolo. Uh, single serve coffee machine. Um, Circolo because it looks like a circle and it's really futuristic. Um, I'm gonna talk about all of its features in a moment. Uh, it looks a little crazy, but let's, we'll find out about uh, you know, how good a cup of coffee it makes because that's really going to be the true test in the long run. Let's jump in and talk about this machine. First off, what comes in the box with the Dolce Gusto Circolo? Pretty straightforward. You get the machine itself, which is pretty big. I have to say, as single serve machines go, it's a little bit big, um, but it should probably still fit on most countertops pretty easily. Uh, in the case of this Circolo, we got a Nescafe variety pack to try out some of the different Dolce Gusto pods that you can get for this machine. And we also got this handy little drip tray uh, slash uh, collector tray for our spent pods. This has a removable uh, little sleeve on the inside and this is where water can drip into and you can just get rid of your spent pods helps to keep things clean. Uh, and of course you get your operation manual. Pretty straightforward. Let's talk about the features of this machine and what it comes with. Starting at the bottom, as we always do, you have your tray. Now the tray is removable. I will say it's a little hard to pull out, but it's not really a big deal. You can pull this tray out and you can move it up or down to the specific location that you would like it to be at, depending on the mug or tumbler size that you're going to be using with the machine. And of course, you can also remove the metal, which will allow you to clean the tray pretty easily. Moving up, you can see I have a light right here, which is kind of cool. Again, it's pretty futuristic looking. Um, doesn't really serve a whole lot of uh, purpose beyond that, but it does look pretty cool. And then we have our pod tray. Now our pod tray is accessed by flipping up this locking handle and we can pull our tray out. Now this is where we're going to place our coffee pod when it is time to brew. We'll talk about Dolce Gusto pods in a few moments. One cool thing I've noticed about the trays on the Dolce Gusto machines is that they are slightly magnetized. So when you get it just about towards the back of the machine, it'll actually just get pulled back immediately by the magnet in the tray. Cool little feature one way or the other. Then you have your locking uh, lever. This is gonna lock down and puncture your pod when it's time to brew. Then you have this little screen on the, in, on the inside middle section of the machine. Now this screen is going to allow you to choose exactly how much coffee or tea or whatnot you're going to brew. As you can see, I'm changing this by making use of this small dial that's on the top of the machine. Now the dial's got sort of a rubberized feel to it. It's very clicky, feels real slick. It's pretty cool. Um, I have to say that it's a cool little feature. I kind of wish it did more. I said this about another machine that had the same feature. Um, I wish it did more than just simply choose that because I kind of want to use it for more stuff, but I can't and that's okay. Um, now I should also note that this water level indicator is also going to coincide with my Dolce, Dolce Gusto pods because the pods are actually going to have a little indicator that will show me how much water I should as recommended by the maker of the pod brew into the pod. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Now on the top almost back of the machine is the wheel which I was talking about and you're also going to find a cold brew button and a hot brew button. Now this is pretty straightforward. Press one of these you're going to get a cold or a hot brew and this is a set and brew machine. You can basically press that button, walk away and come back to a cup of coffee. On the left or my right hand side of the machine, you're going to find your power button. It's going to blink red if the machine is heating up, green, solid green if it's time to brew. And finally, on the back of the machine, we have our water tank. Now you can see the water tank through the front of the machine, which is kind of the cool feature of this machine, but the tank is removable just from the back. It's a 44 ounce water tank. So it's a little bit bigger than the other Dolce Gusto machine tanks that I've seen. 
And you're also gonna find back here this little needle cleaner. It looks really small and like a spring, but this is for cleaning the needle that is actually going to puncture your pods when it's time to brew. So this is just a useful thing to have in the case that you need to actually clean your machine uh, if you find that it's not brewing right or something along those lines. That's pretty much all the features of this machine. Uh, now we're going to talk about brewing with it because even though it looks a little bit crazy, brewing is very simple with the Circle O. So brewing is very easy and straightforward. We're going to take a Dolce Gusto pod, we're going to take our pod tray out of the Circle O, and we're just going to drop that pod into the pod tray. Now we simply place that and then lock it down. This is going to puncture that, uh, that seal on the top of the pod, place our mug in our futuristic, almost Star Trek-like uh, <laughs> location right here, and then we need to choose how much water we're going to brew with. I'm going to set this to the largest brew size because that's what the pod said I should use, and now I'm just going to press the hot brew button. And the machine's going to start brewing. It starts brewing immediately, which I think is great. Uh, if it is he heated up, it's ready to go immediately. If it's not, of course, you have to wait for the machine to get heated up. Let's talk about Dolce Gusto pods a little bit while the brewing happens right here. Now, Dolce Gusto pods are specific only to the Dolce Gusto machines. You can't use them with other machines, and you can't use other pods with the Dolce Gusto machines. They're a little bit of a different design. They're kind of almost the size of a K-cup, but maybe a little closer to a view cut by Keurig, uh, they're not recyclable. And that's something that I've been letting folks know because I know that a lot of folks are trying to be a little more green about their coffee making, especially the single serve coffee. Um, so unfortunately at the making of this video, you're not really gonna be able to do that with Dolce Gusto pods, they're not recyclable. Um, but it's just something to keep in mind. It's not a total mark against it, but it's something you might wanna think of if you're somebody who tries to be green about your coffee making. Now, Dolce Gusto pods come in different varieties. As I say, I have a variety pack right here, and in this pack, there's a Chococino, a Cappuccino, Cafe Americano, and Cafe Lungo pod. And in the case of, let's say, the Cappuccino pods, you're going to find that I have a white pod, this is for milk, and a black pod, this is for coffee. So this is a two-part brew right here, so I'd essentially just brew these one after the other. I can follow the instructions. You'll notice that on the Cappuccino pod, might be a little hard to see, but the indicator for water is all the way at the bottom. So this would brew essentially about an espresso ristretto uh, type of brew. So not a whole lot of coffee, just going to be very strong. So we have these combo type pods that we can use with a Dolce Gusto machine. We can also get tea pods and we can get iced pods so we can make use of the cold brew option on a machine like the Circolo. So there are some different options when it comes to your beverages. You're not locked into maybe only a couple different kinds, a few different kinds like we've seen on, let's say, the Starbucks machines, where there's only those few that you get to make and nothing more. Uh, and of course, the machine brews quickly. I would say definitely it brews a good cup of coffee. You'll notice there's kind of a crema happening, and there was a little bit of layering happening there as it brewed. Let's see what the temperature is. So I would expect maybe a little more heat than 170. We'll add maybe a few on there since the cup was sitting for a little bit, not too long, but just a little. So maybe 173 degrees Fahrenheit for that cup of coffee. Still plenty hot if you're somebody who likes a hot brew. It's not too bad. Cleanup is real easy. All you have to do is pop up that lever and now you can empty this, uh, this pod into that pod receptacle that came with the machine. Place your tray again or of course brew again if you would like. If not, the machine is gonna turn itself off in five minutes. It has a five minute auto off time. You can circumvent that if you want to but I think that's a really good feature because you don't want this machine sitting there heating up all the time and just wasting electricity, not gonna do you or the earth any good. What's it going to cost to add the most futuristic single serve coffee machine I've ever seen to your at home coffee shop? You're looking at about, at about $179.95. So that is not too bad. Again, uh, still lower than some of the other single serve machines that we've talked about here on aromacup.com. What's my bottom line with the Dolce Gusto Circle O single serve coffee machine? Well, it's got kind of a crazy name. It's a crazy design. Uh, it's certainly going to catch people's eyes if they come into your, your home, walk into your kitchen and see this machine sitting there. It looks like nothing I've ever seen in the single serve world. I do think that that is pretty cool. I have to give uh, Nescafe, Nestle, the Dolce Gusto folks some kudos for designing something that doesn't look the same 
as every single serve coffee machine. And all of the Dolce Gusto line is kind of this way. It's cool looking, very modern, very futuristic in a lot of ways. Like I say, this looks like something from Star Trek to me. I'm just saying, I'm a bit of a geek, as you can tell. And I think that that's pretty cool. It uh, makes a good cup of coffee. I like the coffee that I've had out of this machine. I think the screen is really cool. I Again, I wish that that little dial did more. It just would be cool to be able to use it for something else. I don't know what, some other selection on the machine, but I do think it's pretty cool. And I like the fact that you can do hot and cold brews and that you do get different types of beverages that you can make use of with a Dolce Gusto machine. The price point's pretty nice on it. I think the only mark against it is the fact that, again, those pods are not recyclable. And you'll just want to keep that in mind when you're adding this machine to your own at-home coffee shop. So I hope that I've uh, given you guys some good insight to the Dolce Gusto Circle O single serve machine, but if there's anything I missed, if you have questions, comments, anything else, get in touch with me here in the comments on this video, or of course, visit us at aromacup.com where you can find out how you can purchase this machine, purchase other single serve coffee machines, and talk coffee with us all at aromacup.com. As always guys, I'm Brian, coming to you from my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. I wanna thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time, enjoy your cup, and take care. Should you add the Dolce Gusto, the Gusto, Gusto, the Gusto. <laughs>